What's up you guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Meg and today I'm going to be filming um, my weight loss journey and I'm going to be doing it um, get ready with me style because um, I'm really awkward <laughs> and I don't want to um, I don't want to just sit here and talk to the camera, okay? I have to be doing something with my hands. Just a little bit of background on me before we get started on this. Um, I am a certified personal trainer. I've been training for almost three years, two and a half years, and um, I love it. <laughs> so I'm just going to be telling y'all in this um, my journey from being not active at all to like becoming active um you know if you would like to know how i became a trainer if you want to know anything basically after i'm going to be telling you like a four-year story right if you want to know anything after that just hit the thumbs up or like comment in the comments and tell me so we're gonna start Way back when, okay, way back. When I was a kid, um, I always played sports, okay? I was always active, I was always doing something. Um, but I was really tall and I was kind of just a larger kid, you know? I wasn't fat, I was just large, just really tall, really freaking tall, you know? I looked like I was, 13 and fourth grade it was crazy you know it's how it is sometimes so i was just big okay i was big and all my friends were little okay i would always look around at all my friends and be like oh my god you're so skinny um i would always compare myself to them and be like why don't i look that skinny and like why can't i fit into all my friends clothes and things like that i was really bummed about it okay and that's like an understatement I really, I really didn't like myself at a very, starting at a very young age. And I think that's happening a lot now, but you know, I was afraid to talk about it for a while because I didn't, I didn't really know. Like, I didn't know that was something that you had to talk about. Like, I didn't know if other people felt that way. That's how young I was, that I didn't know if other people had insecurities or compared themselves to other people okay so you know i was just a kid not knowing how to really control my thoughts like that and just comparing the crap out of myself and so i would just get really down on myself like boys don't like me i was so boy crazy as a child it was ridiculous i was just so boy crazy and so i would be like this guy doesn't like me because i'm fat which is stupid <laughs> and was wrong, I'm sure. I'm sure I didn't even speak to him ever in my entire life and that's why he didn't like me because he didn't know who the fuck I was. So high school or like middle school, I was playing lacrosse pretty like competitively, I would say. Not super competitive, but I was doing, you know, the summer camps and all that. I was invested. My mom spent a lot of money on lacrosse. So, <laughs> bless her. Um, I really, really enjoyed it, okay? Like, it was fun. I loved just being with my friends, you know? Cause all my friends played lacrosse. So I just loved it, you know? I was super active, still comparing myself. Like, crap, super comparing myself. Like, I remember we had to wear skirts, which is like, can someone tell me why, like, lacrosse, like, girls have to wear skirts because it's stupid? <laughs> we had to wear these skirts, and I couldn't fit my best friend, who is very petite, okay? She's petite Yeah, I couldn't fit into her skirt, and I was like, oh my god, I'm a monster! <laughs> so, <laughs> I was really upset about it. It was just little shit like this, like, I would think that all the time. Like, I would just feel big and ugly all the time. And I thought that it was a normal thing. I, I really felt like there was nothing wrong with me for thinking that. Everyone thinks that. 
it's just like <laughs> so I just didn't know there was anything wrong with it so um, like I said I was really heavy with lacrosse and it got to a point when I was in high school that you know it just didn't didn't spark no, didn't spark any joy for me anymore. It just wasn't my thing anymore. It would just been shoved in my face like crazy, <laughs> you know? So I just decided after my sophomore year that I wasn't going to go back and play the next season. And you know, my friends were all pretty disappointed, but I was like, yep, nah. Um, and on top of that, I hadn't gotten a spot on the varsity team, so I would just was a little biatch and decided to quit because of that. After that, the season after I didn't get picked, I was pissed. And I felt like, you know, she has this vendetta against me. She hates me because I'm fat. <laughs> I really thought that. I was like, I'm the least in shape on the team and the coach hates me. So, I basically quit lacrosse and quit all physical activity, period. <laughs> but I got my first job after I quit and um, I loved it because I had money, right? I got a car, I got a job, I had money, do what I want, but I was working. <laughs> so me and my friends, who weren't playing sports either would um, go to Zaxby's a lot, go to Starbucks a lot, get a lot of uh, frappuccinos, chocolatey chip frappuccinos, right? So I was just packing it in and I blew up, like blew the F up. And I was, I was pretty big for me. Like I had never been that big. Um, so then I really started feeling like, dang, I'm the fat girl. Like in all the pictures with my friends, I just felt like I looked so huge. And I was not healthy. I mean, honestly, you, you can't be healthy eating Zaxby's and like pizza from the cafeteria, okay? And that's what I was eating. Lots of sugar from Starbucks. So, um, I got pretty big. And also in this time was when my depression got super, super awful. Um, I was in a really dark place for a very long time in high school. Um, it sucked. Am I gonna blame my weight on that? No. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure that there was, some, there was some chemicals going on and the stress and everything was helping me keep that weight on, but I really wasn't doing anything to actively change how I looked. I would just hate the way that I looked and just make it worse. No, I was making it worse. You know, I wasn't just, I just wasn't doing anything productive. I would just talk shit about myself and then hope it all worked out. You know, <laughs> I like didn't do anything about it. And that is something that bothers me now a lot is when people complain and complain and complain about how they look, but then they're not willing to do anything to change it. And I've been that person, <laughs> like I've been that. So I know how, how detrimental it can be to your journey. You're just, you're not moving. You're not even on your journey yet. So I had all these horrible feelings and I, it didn't, it didn't help that I was not cool <laughs> in high school or middle school or any time of my life. I'm just not cool. Other people don't think I'm cool, which is totally fine. I think I'm cool. <laughs> really got to me in high school though, like a lot. I was just really sad about it all the time. So I kind of looked at college as being this like 
fresh start. Like I didn't have to be me anymore. I could be somebody else. So I just didn't want to be the big girl anymore. Um, what am I about to do? Oh. So I was just kind of like, okay, fresh start. We're gonna do something new. We're just gonna be fresh and new. So I get to right? Yes, I went to the party school. <laughs> Every school is a party school at this point. I hate when people call it that. It was a party school though. We have partied. That's all there was to do. You know, you couldn't really do much else. At least when I first got there. The school that I went to was pretty, um, very like heavy on Greek life. Um, really heavy on football, okay? It was in the deep south, so it was big on football. They love their football. <laughs> and um, big on uh, drinking, lots of drinking. My, my roommate in the beginning of freshman year was really sweet, really cool, you know? We kind of hit it off um, on a very, like superficial level. So we started going to the gym all the time. And sometimes like we wouldn't go together. A lot of the times we wouldn't go together and it ended up that we wouldn't ever go together like towards the end. But like we would go to the gym. We would get on the elliptical for an hour. Like sometimes I would get on there and I would go in the morning, right? So I would get on there. I would go for an hour in the morning on the elliptical. <laughs> before class and I would, I don't like this bronzer. Um, damn, I don't like it. Come back at night and do another two hours on the elliptical. Who was I? What did I think was going on? I don't know. You know, everybody gets on their journey a different way and that was just my way of starting out. I had no idea. I was just desperate to do anything to, to get the weight off. And that was the easiest fix I could find, okay? I'm an introvert. I didn't want to be pressured by being around anybody. So, you know, I just stayed on the elliptical, whatever. <laughs> Judge me. And I would do some vlog a lotties, you know, little abs, vlog a lotties, Cassie and her little self. Nothing against Cassie, but basically just to say that I was only doing like body weight, anything, and the elliptical. Every day, my everyday like eating was like in the morning, I would have an egg white omelet, okay, at the dining hall. And then I would have some almonds. For a snack, I would count them out in my hand. That would be my snack. I would go to class and then I would go to the dining hall again and I would get a piece of grilled chicken and some lettuce. And that would be my lunch. Then I would go to the gym, work out again, and then come back again, have grilled chicken and lettuce. And then if I wanted dessert that day, okay, if I was feeling a little <laughs> crazy, I would get um, some yogurt with some granola and fruit in a little bowl, okay? And I think I had that, <laughs> oh my God, I think I had that like every single day for months. But the only thing different was that when we when I would go out and I would be drinking, I'd be like, okay, I'm not gonna eat anything today because I need to save the calories for the alcohol, for that four loco I'm about to drink while I put my makeup on before I go out. I had this really bad relationship with food and it all stemmed from not knowing anything about, having no information about nutrition at all. So one day I'm looking at myself in the mirror, in the full length mirror, in my bathroom, and I'm like, keep in mind, I've always been like big boned, I've always been a bigger girl, okay? I'm really tall, I'm tall as hell, okay? And I've always had some curves to me and some, some meat on my bones. 
and I I looked at the mirror and I was like where did it all go you know I didn't I had no curves anymore looking from the looking from the front I was a stick and looking from the side I was a stick and it freaked me out okay I looked at myself and I was like whoa who is that and that was kind of the day that I was like something I think something should change you know um and I knew something had to change because I had been people were telling me all the time you look so good you look so happy blah blah, blah. and I'm over there like yeah I look great I'm depressed and I want to die but thanks I look skinny you know it was just it was just not a good time nothing looking a certain way didn't help how I felt at all so if you guys just a word to if anybody's listening to this trying to lose weight trying to get to a physical goal if you think that hitting that physical appearance goal is going to make you feel any better about yourself or is going to cure your depression or anxiety you're wrong and i'm sorry to be the one to burst your bubble but you need to go to a therapist it didn't help and i thought it would and i learned the hard way that it doesn't you know Oh god, this is gonna be so hard doing my brows and talking. <laughs> Great. So, you know, I knew something needed to change, not just because of how I looked, but also because of how I felt. I went home for winter break, I think it was, and I was watching some YouTube videos, and I don't know how it popped up, but I found a video by Nikki Blackader. Okay, and like if you know fitness YouTubers or anything at all, you know Nikki Blackener and she's like the little queen of like fitspo. She's a badass, like look at her lifting those weights. And then she hardly ever did cardio. And I was like, well, what the hell am I doing on the elliptical? If she can look like that and she's not doing any cardio, like what? I'm gonna do what she's doing. Sorry if this is an awkward angle. I gotta get it done. So, you know, when I went back to school, I was like, okay, here goes nothing. <laughs> I'm gonna step out into the weight room. I was pretty intimidated, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do this. I went on bodybuilding.com, so excited about everything. Like learning, I was on bodybuilding.com all the time, reading articles, educating myself on on um, fitness and nutrition and I loved it. I just genuinely really liked it and it was an escape for me because I didn't like the way that I felt when I was at school. And um, you know, it kind of, it did give me an escape. And so I would be in the gym <laughs> and I would have my phone out. So this is to all the people who say that they don't know what they're doing in the gym or whatever. I would be in the gym, sitting there, have my phone out, and be watching the videos on bodybuilding.com on how to do the exercise, set the phone down, and then I would do the exercise, and look in the mirror, look in the mirror, that's what they're for, to check your form, look in the mirror, watch myself, sometimes I would like video myself, real secretive, and if you scroll way, way back onto my page, you can see how my workouts were when I first started and when I started my fitness Instagram, I honestly thought that it was more for me. I felt like it was more for me. It was a, an accountability thing. I didn't expect for it to become, you know, my way of marketing my personal training because I didn't even have that thought in my mind yet. Once I started um, lifting weights, my body just changed so fast, like so fast. I mean, I was, I was amazed. Obviously I started pretty light on everything, but when I first started lifting weights, there was no physical goal in it for me at all. I had no idea what my body would transform into. So it's not like I started lifting weights to get a big butt. I just started lifting weights, period, <laughs> to lift weights. And I think sometimes like people get, people start working out because they want a big butt or they want a tiny waist. And then they get really discouraged when they don't get that when 
you need to focus on just throwing yourself in. If you enjoy working out, just throw yourself into it. You don't have to have a physical goal, you know, just start doing it. And that's pretty much just what I did. And my body, my body transformed really nicely. <laughs> yeah, honestly, like I just really just fell in love with it. And there was no, you know, I have to look a certain way. There was none of that. I just wanted to do something different and I had fallen in love with working out in general. And that was just a whole nother step for me. And I made so many friends. Like, let me tell y'all, just such genuine people, nice people. Some people that I'm still friends with now, some people I'm not. But I made so many friends. And you know what I gained more than anything? from pushing myself to go and be in the weight room, I gained so much confidence in myself. <laughs> I didn't know that I could do that shit. I, I didn't know. And when I realized that like, I was capable of doing those things and like lifting those kinds of weights and doing those kinds of exercises, I started to feel good about me for the first time in like forever. I mean, I hadn't felt like happy with myself and I don't know how long and so just like being able to look at myself in the mirror and enjoying how I look or being able to meet someone new and like confidently introduce myself or partake in a conversation confidently instead of second guessing myself all the time um it was just incredible because I had lost that you know I didn't I didn't feel like that anymore and pushing myself to get in the gym and lift some weights and and become a fucking badass woman it gave me that back <laughs> my training style has definitely changed a lot since back then but we all start somewhere and you have to learn somewhere and you know, I'm not gonna discredit that part of my journey just because I didn't, I don't train that way now. You know what I mean? Like, I look back on all my parts of my journey. And my, like I said before, my journey is not over <laughs> by any means, you know, I'm still in the middle of it. But, um, you know, I look back on everything that I've, been through to get to this point and I'm super grateful because if I had never if if the bad things hadn't happened to me and if I hadn't felt like the terrible feelings that I did and if I hadn't had the strength to decide that you know I want better things for myself and I want to treat myself better then I would be in a completely different spot right now where I might not even be here. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me put on my very mediocre makeup. I'm not a beauty guru, okay? I just, just like to wear makeup. Um, so I will see you guys. I'm definitely gonna keep making videos because this was fun. And yeah. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and if there's anything you guys wanna see, um, you can just put it below or you can message it to me on Instagram. I'll put my Instagram on here. Um, if you have any questions, of course, always ask and yeah have a beautiful day and keep pushing